In this video, I'm going to be talking about the function transformation of horizontal compression. Or you could also call it a horizontal shrink. Now, what does that mean? Well, you can see if you're doing a horizontal shrink, you're going from your parent function. And horizontally, it's going to be getting smaller. So it's going to be getting skinnier. We're shrinking horizontally. Now, how do we do that both on our equation and then what happens to the graph? Well, very similar to when we were doing a horizontal stretch, we're, we do a horizontal shrink when you multiply the x value before you perform the function. So this parent function is x squared. Before we square this x value, we're multiplying it by some number. And in this case, we're going to be multiplying it by some number that's greater than 1. So, how do we do this on our graph? Well, when we did our horizontal stretch, we multiplied our x values by the reciprocal of whatever the fraction was. When we're doing a horizontal compression, we're doing the exact same thing. Except now, when we do the reciprocal of a whole number, it's going to be a fraction. So you can think, these x values are going to be getting multiplied by a fraction. They're going to be getting cut in half, or cut into a fourth, or cut into a third. Whatever that whole number is, you're going to be multiplying the x values by 1 over that number. So let's take a look here at this first example with y equals 2x squared. The reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2, which means that we're going to be multiplying all of these x values by 1 half. So this x of 1 is going to be getting multiplied by 1 half. This x of 2 is going to be getting multiplied by 1 half. So you can see that when we multiply 2 by 1 half, we get an x value of 1. And when we multiply 1, this x value of 1 by 1 half, we get an x value of 0.5, or 1 half. So that's the horizontal compression. Now you can think, it's no different here, for the second function, y equals 3x, and then squared, we're going to be multiplying our x values by 1 over 3, or 1 third of where we were at before. So if we were at 2 before, well now we're going to be at 2 thirds. 0.66, okay? 2 times uh, 1 third is 2 thirds. And then same thing, well at 1, we were at 1, an x value of 1, 1 times 1 third is 1 third, or 0.33. Then same thing goes on the negative side. So if you were at negative 1 to start, when we multiplied that by uh, 2, that was multiplied by 1 half, so that's negative 1 half. And then negative 1 times 1 third is negative 1 third. And you can see that that is a horizontal compression, horizontal shrink. So remember, if you're multiplying by a whole number on the inside, we multiply the x values by the reciprocal of the whole number.